Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do with the OnePlus Nord 2T. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is uh, you have some uh, quick gestures here for the screen. Maybe if I draw an O, I can open the camera immediately. Or if I uh, draw on the standby screen a V, I can open and close the torch. But don't worry if it doesn't work at you right now because you have to enable it first. For that just scroll on your right next to the camera, scroll on right next to the camera and uh, then you will have here always the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to the point system settings and here we have the point gestures and motions. And here you will need the point screen of gestures. So the first one. Huh? So in here you have to enable the point if you want to open the camera with the O. Huh? The, you draw O to open camera. Same with the V to open the flashlight. Huh? And if you want, you can add also some more gestures. Huh? Just tap here on add gestures. And then you can yeah, uh, also Decide what happened if you draw uh, an M. No? Make an unlock the screen. You can make a call to a, a certain person, or you can open an app, um, maybe like Google Maps here. No? So and that means also now if my screen is turned off like this, so just in standby mode, and if I draw an M, I'm having no? after I unlock, I'm having Google Maps right now. So a very nice tool. Yeah, the next point I want to show you is to make the phone a bit faster because uh, as you have seen already, we have always here a little animation. Maybe if I open um, Gmail here or the Play Store, nah? it zooms out and it zooms in. Have you seen it? It zooms out and it zooms in. And if you remove these animations, your phone will become much faster. Let me show you what I mean. For that, just scroll on your right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. And uh, then we need again the system settings. And here we have the point accessibility. So, and here on top, we will have this bar, and have a general vision, hearing, and so on. And we will need the point vision. And here we have the point remove animations. And if we turn it on, then it is faster right now, the phone. So if I open the Play Store, it's immediately there right now. And if I close it, it's immediately gone. Same with other apps like uh, yeah, the Chrome browser. Maybe it's immediately there. And if I close it, immediately gone. And let me now um, uh, turn off this removing animation so that the animations are still there, that you can see the differences. Open, close, open, close. You see, it is much slower with that. And if you remove these animations, what I would recommend to you, it is much, much faster. It feels faster and it is faster because if the phone becomes older one day, um, it's a kind of performance as well. What uh, these animations takes a bit of the performance and yeah, remove them. You don't need them. Okay, the next feature I want to show you is also to make the phone a bit faster because we can boost the RAM a bit. Uh, so the software um, will automatically learn about um, the need of the apps and so on and will add sometimes a bit more RAM from the internal storage. So uh, let me show you what I mean. So just scroll on right next to the camera, scroll on right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings and we still need again the system settings. You see there are nice things in it and scroll down a bit and then we will have here the point RAM boost. And if you turn it on, no, just go on enable one boost, no, so that's marked blue, then um, the system will learn about um, the usage and so on. And will make the phone as well a bit faster. Okay, we have spoken about to make the phone a bit faster, but let us talk about now a very important topic as well. We need to save energy. Because there are some times you don't need your smartphone and that is when you're sleeping. You don't need your smartphone when you're sleeping. Okay, then uh, let me show you uh, how you can uh, solve this problem. Yeah, the easiest way is to turn off your smartphone and that you don't have to do this all the time by your own. The phone can do this for you. Uh, let me show you how you can do that. For that, just scroll down here right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. 
and then we will need to point system settings i think you know already and uh, here we will have the point chat shoot power on off okay yeah. to auto power off uh, take the point below and no? tap on the time and you can set up a time uh, maybe uh, by the way after confirming at the checkbox by the way um, also if the phone turns off you can turn it on so in case you are still up and so on you need the phone and the phone will turn off automatically just turn it on again it's no problem yeah but uh, if the phone turns off always automatically then you save energy and also you have a better sleep because no notifications disturbs you and so on uh, and uh, no uh, sometimes uh, uh, <clears throat> some calls and so on uh, some unnecessary ones um, so just turn off your phone automatically and if you want to have it in the morning again um, if you want to really make sure that the alarm rings and so on but the alarm I think uh, starts also if the phone is turned off um, then you can auto power it on as well and set up time and then maybe five minutes before you get up um, let's take them maybe uh, 6.55 oh. yeah. uh -huh. and the phone will turn on five minutes before you wake up and everything is already ready if you waking up okay the next one i want to show you is also to save energy um, this is about the display because the display uh, supports 90 hertz no? but you just need it normally for games and so on no? and uh, just go scroll down here go to the symbol for the settings and go now no, no, not to system settings we will need now the display and brightness settings so just go on display and brightness and here we have the point screen refresh rate actually it's on high and that means it works with 90 percent uh 90, 90 hertz uh, sorry and that makes it, uh, the actions animations and so on much much more smooth and so on but um it takes more energy um, this is the reason why i recommend to you to put it on standard because uh, I don't know if you have realized it, uh, but the previous smartphones, all the previous smartphones have had 60 hertz and it works as well, pretty well. And also if you're playing games and so on, it's good. If you play games, it is better with a high, yeah. But you can set it up if you want to play games at the moment. No? Okay, the next point I want to show you is uh, for our eyes, because we all are using our smartphones too often and uh, that gives our eyes stress. This is nothing new, but you can do something. You can prevent this eye strain. Uh, let me show you what I mean. For that, just scroll down right next to the camera, scroll down right next to the camera, and then you will have here some shortcuts. No? And if you scroll down again in the shortcuts, you will have some more opportunities here. And one of them is here the point eye comfort. If you tap on it, he will ask you for the very first time if you want to have it always on or if you want to chat you it, just go on always on at first to check it a bit. No? And as you can see, the screen have changed a bit, the, the uh, screen color, because this is a blue light filter and uh, that reduces a lot of eye strain. Okay, uh, let me show you some more options of it. So just scroll down again, you're right next to the camera, scroll down again at the shortcuts and then long press here the symbol for the eye comfort. Uh, because here you have the chance then to, to change the screen color temperature. No? And um, if you want to, to increase the temperature, also to increase the power of the blue light filter, then um, just go here on more warm and so on. And that's much, much better for your eyes. But it's a bit unusual and so on at the beginning. Um, so you can make it a bit lower if you want and so on. Um, but it is very important for your eyes and if you say okay i don't want to have it on the day i really recommend to you to have it at latest in the evening hours because um, this blue light affects also your sleep and if you want to have a better sleep you should have it at latest in the evening hours and if you say i don't want to have it on a day just turn it on automatically in the evening hours if you go here on chat shoot and then you can um yeah chat shoot a custom time here um, that it turns on automatically uh, may at uh, 10 p.m. or 22 you know, depends uh, where you are living and uh, turn off automatically in the morning so a very nice feature um, that you don't have to turn it on always on and off 
um, by your own and it protects your eyes. Okay, there's another point which one supports that blue light filter here in the evening hours especially. Because uh, if you are um, no, in the evening uh, and uh, everything is dark around you and you have this very bright screen, ah, that's not a good feeling and as well for your eyes. But you have the opportunity to turn this here into black. So that's named the dark mode. No? But I just scroll on here. Uh, scroll on again at the shortcuts. And by the way, we have a second page here. And uh, one of these new icons here is the dark mode. And uh, if you turn it on, you will see that now many things is black, also many stuff is black, and uh, that reduces the brightness of the screen. And uh, I would recommend to you because you need it in the evening hours that you schedule it because on the day, um, yeah, you cannot see so well if there's a lot of sunlight if you have enabled this dark mode. No? So just use it in the evening hours, and you don't have to turn it on and turn it off all the time by your own. You can set this up. It works automatically. Just long press the dark mode symbol here, so the sun, and you're in the settings of the dark mode, and go here on auto switch, and just turn it on. And I would recommend to you to turn it on from sunset to sunrise, because the phone auto detects your time zone and so on, and uh, knows then when the sun is going up and going down, as it turns, as it recognizes your location and so on. It will turn the phone on if the sun sets and if the sun rises then the phone will turn the dark mode off. Yeah. So very nice tool and by the way you can do also something with the environment for because if uh, these pixels are turned off so if the screen is dark and so on in some places here then um, it doesn't need energy. So that saves energy and that's good for our planet. So you should really use this in the evening hours. And the next point is also something for our eyes, uh, very simple but effective. Scroll down right next to the camera here, go to the symbol for the settings, and look for the point personalize, personalizations. So, and if you enable, also if you enter it for the very first time, you have to enable some stuff and so on, but it's okay. And you can set a wallpaper, it's always on display and so on. Uh, and uh, the point I want to show you is font and display size. And if you scroll down now a bit below, you can change the font size no? to make the letters a bit bigger. No? Same thing with display size, it increases also um, the icons and so on. No? So increase the display size at maximum and go on apply. And then everything is a big is a bit bigger. No? By the way, it affects also your uh, the previous view of your notifications. So don't make so enlarge the uh, don't enlarge the uh, text size too much. Um, yeah, but it is also very well for your eyes. Then you know if it's too small, your eyes have to. No? Especially if you're older, I think some people know what I mean. And we are already here. At the last point. That's also something cool because you can enable something for the navigation. So. If you're having the fingerprint, if you have installed the fingerprint sensor so that you uh, can unlock your screen here with the fingerprint, no? then um, you can do some more actions here with this fingerprint sensor. For that, just scroll on your right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings, and I will show you a new point now. It is named Special Features. Okay, and there's a nice point, the first one here, quick launch. And if you enable it, also by the way, you have some instructions here. Now. If you long press now the fingerprint um, sensor, then you will have some quick access to some apps. Um, okay, let us maybe add an app here. Oh, let's take maybe WhatsApp, I think. Uh, my files, no, I want to have WhatsApp. Ah, here, go on apps, no? this will have functions, go on apps, and you can uh, now check an app here. So now we have your WhatsApp maybe on this side, on the other side maybe we can set up uh, the weather if you want. And uh, yeah, now we have some actions here. No? By the way, you can also choose these functions, what you have seen at first, but I think apps are the best choice. Okay, then, uh, yeah. Just go in the checkbox to confirm. 
And that means if I now unlock next time the phone, I go to the fingerprint sensor and hold my finger and then I have this uh, opportunities right now and I can go directly to WhatsApp. We don't, I don't have to check at first. <laughs> I don't have to unlock uh, the phone first, uh, look for the WhatsApp app and so on. No, I can um, go there instantly. Uh, same thing also here if I want to check the weather as well. Uh, uh, so it's just an example. Uh, you can also set up some other apps. I can go to the other side and have immediately access also without unlocking the screen and so on. Uh, so a pretty cool feature. Yeah, we're already at the end and uh, I hope uh, that you enjoyed the video and that you could learn a bit more about your smartphone, that you have a good setup right now. And uh, yeah, if you want, you can give me a nice comment, maybe with your favorite feature and so on. I can also give me a thumbs up. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and yeah, I've created also some other videos if you're interested in or you can also subscribe me to know miss a new video and so on. It would be a pleasure to see you again. And yeah, maybe until next time. Ciao.